This last tutorial, we're going to talk about sheets. So in your floor plan, first floor view, uh, this gives us the view of all of the first floor. This is a very useful view for us. So we're going to go down and we're going to create a sheet to place this on. So I want you to right click sheets and we're going to do a new sheet. We're going to create a E1 size, which is a 30 by 42 inch horizontal layout. And I'm going to click OK. And this gives me my overall layout. Now, in order to place the object on there, we're going to click and drag first floor over here. And that will drop it on here. Now, you can see the scale of this is not quite um, the right size for a sheet this large. So we should be able to adjust the scale here. And if we make this a little bit larger, so an inch is 20 feet in, and 10 feet instead of 20, then we click apply and that doubles the size on the sheet. So uh, that's how you can adjust the size of a print on a particular sheet. The other information you need to be aware of on the sheet are um, where you can edit. So we can edit things like uh, the software here, who the consultants are, names, address, so all of this is editable. You can also identify some descriptions and dates for um, when the sheet was completed and different things about the sheet, and then adjust some of these owner details and project names and things like that. It also automatically updates the scale of what your uh, whatever your plans are that you put on this. And then as far as the object itself, it also gives you the scale and which floor plan it is that you've placed. So that's how you can um, create and drop in items from your sheets.